Um, uh, uh, it's good actually, I'm very happy to be here in Poland, uh, considering that I was uh, in Vilnius yesterday. <laughs> it's interesting to come to Poland and say, my God, finally a happy country. <laughs> very nice, very, very interesting. You think, oh my God, we're so miserable here in Poland, we complain about everything. Wait until you go to Tallinn! Wait until you go there! and lose your soul, if you have one, if you haven't lost it here, if you haven't lost it in this fucking weather. Uh, it's good, you have weather here. You like, uh, Polish people, you like to complain a lot, no? You like to complain, oh, it's our national sport. It's our national sport, we complain. Just wait until you go to any other country. They will tell you it's our national sport to complain. And you will start to complain about the fact that actually complaining is not your national sport. That is true. So how many Polish people do we have here tonight? Oh, good. So really... You're surrounded, guys. We are coming. My God, it's okay, so we're safe. You're, we're safe, you're not. Uh, good, no? How does it feel to be in Poland and just go in a room and just not be surrounded by your people? How does that feel? It must be feeling great, doesn't it? Have you ever been to Africa? Sorry, what? It was... She's, ah, she's surrounded at home already. Here's the strong man coming to talk on behalf of his uh, typical proper Italian style, you say, proper Polish style. Proper, it's like Mediterraneans and the Eastern Europeans have this thing in common. Uh, they talk, men talk on behalf of women. Uh, and the women wear the pants, no? You do, you beat him up, I can see you. You beat him up in the house, you keep him in a box, uh, you feed him uh, handcuff. Whoa, whoa, really? This is the, whoa. These are the things you do. Whoa. These are the things you do. Whoa. Mm, you should uh, get some of these mic stands as well. Uh, people, people think, oh my god, these mic stands that you guys, comedians, use are only for comedy? No. Uh, they can be used uh, at home with your partner. Uh, they're very good in case of an ex pandemic. It's good that they do, you do social distancing. This is, this is a typical distance. You go around with this. It's very versatile. When all the clubs were closed, we would use mic stands to do that. Also, uh, you know, uh, mic stands are very good in case uh, you uh, have some friends over. And uh, uh, first, you know, maybe you, it's winter, maybe you want to make a big soup. So you can stir the soup with this, and then you put them, put this in their bottle. Uh, right. So, uh, how many how many Italians do we have here tonight? Hey. Hey. <laughs> you're not as many as I thought. Oh my God! All right. So uh, you you're still here. You live here. You live here in Poland. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. And uh, how's it going? <laughs> Ah, you have, you're giving me a British answer more yeah. than an English answer. Ah, yeah. Okay, so you hate it? But why do you hate it? Like it's, uh, I mean, I'm assuming that you hate it. You have to say it's great, because there's a, there's a, there's, I don't know, you're, you're Italian, sorry, you're Italian-Polish couple. Yes. God, my God, you really must be fucking hard. Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, so listen, uh, you, what do you, what do you, what do you do here in Poland? If you don't mind me asking, if it's something legal, <laughs> you are gonna talk throughout the whole show, and I hate you already. So, uh, 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 it's a friend of yours. Uh, he speaks on my behalf too. Eh? He speaks on my behalf too. He speaks uh, on your behalf. No, I understood the two. <laughs> I mean to add it as well. I don't know if you heard back there, but uh, he said two. He said two as well. So uh, I, I, I want you to talk only if you are allowed to talk. Uh, Mister, what do you do, please, in your own words? In your own words, please. What do you do? How do you contribute to the 
economy of this country. <laughs> this is a country you have come to, you have to learn its rules. He has a very bad job. <laughs> he doesn't like it and he spends the rest of his time getting fucked up. I understand this is what you do. What is your name? Mattia is sad. <laughs> Mattia is very sad and doesn't enjoy being in Poland. But uh, what can you do? It's good, it's good instead that we are now exploring this different countries, you uh, know, like this is a, I guess like, uh, is a full of expats here tonight, no? Expats, self-identifying expats, horrible people, expats uh, convinced of being refugees. Oh my God, I am here because my country is so bad. My country has a bad president, I don't like him. Yeah, I moved here because he's cheaper. That's why. I I moved here. I moved here because it's cheaper. Because I am, you know, I am really interested in other cultures, especially if I can get free medical care. Uh, or at least cheap medical care, cheaper than in my country. True, experts, uh, you know, they always want to do something with their lives. They go explore uh, and they go to uh, other countries because uh, in their own country uh, they're not good enough. Uh, in whatever they want to do, and so uh, they go to these cheaper countries and uh, they set a very low standard <laughs> for everybody else. It is true, you're gonna see, uh, including myself too, expats, comedians. Uh, so, huh. um, so uh, good, so not so many Italians here. So what other uh, nationalities do we have here tonight? Do we have uh, anybody from France? <laughs> Big love between the French and the Italians as usual. No, is there somebody or no? No, okay, very well. But this is going, this is going better than I expected. All right, very nice. Uh, do we have, uh, uh, what, what do we have here? Do we have Netherlands! Okay, so, wait, one by one, I didn't know you were going to be so excited to shout out your own country. I mean, how could you be excited? So, okay, you're from Turkey, uh, and... It's good, huh? I mean, imagine, like, uh, uh, what, they kick you out of Germany? I don't understand. Like, why are you here? Usually, no, it is true. So, where is the guy? So, okay, listen. We're doing the Turkish bit now. I'm, I'm interested that you like to, to point out that he's from Greece. Because uh, you want to create even more tension. As if there wasn't enough. Yeah? So, Mr. Sublaki. You are in a good company, I can see tonight somebody who loves you so much that wants to make you feel embarrassed in front of strangers. So, uh, tell me, uh, you live here? You're very shy, my god, you are very shy. You're putting, so you who's shouting, yes, yes. Like what? As if you're suggesting he wants to, who's shouting, yes, yes. That, you're, you're the Turkish guy? Fuck you. Yeah. Right, thank you so much, Greece. Thank you for nearly destroying the European Union. Thank you, well, that would have been so good for, uh, not for anybody, I believe. And how is it going now in Greece? I mean, you're here, so. Rock on. You live here? Ah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have to tour the countries, I told you to, so imagine, it's uh, going well for both of us, I believe. Yes. So, uh, anybody from Andorra? <laughs> anybody from Guatemala? No? Anybody? Who is, the, who, who is the coming from the most exotic country here? If you dare to think your country is exotic. If you are from your own country, how could it be exotic? If you are from there. I mean, if you are from your own country, there's nobody sitting next to you. 
it's a uh, well, thank you for giving me the pleasure of seeing an empty seat <laughs> the front row of my show. <laughs> You're pointing at her, and she's like, don't involve me in this shit. <laughs> Anybody from Germany? Oh, yeah. Really? Yes. Yes, what? Yes. You are. Where about? Cologne. Cologne. Okay, so still happy German, no? Yeah. Still a type of happy German, if we can say. That is possible. Cologne, very nice. What's the best thing about Cologne? Carnival. Carnival. My God, that's pretty good, no? Carnival. So what do you do in Germany for Carnival? You wear a tie? What do you do? No, you have a Carnival in February? Like in Venice? Yeah, and it's cold. <laughs> no, it's cold in Venice, even in, in February. It's just, uh, there's colors. <laughs> yes, that's different. All right, so any any questions? Do we have any questions at this point of the show? No? Okay, many again, thank you. Uh, yes, so very well. So we have uh, people from Italy, we have people from Germany, all over the place. Americans in the room? <laughs> so, uh, no, but you remember when Americans uh, were cool? <laughs> What's boo? What is boo? Is coming from Americans or is coming from uh, non-Americans? This boo. Okay. Are you local? Are you American? Ah, oh, he's one of the happy ones. He's one. This guy made money with petrol. I can see it. Where's your boots, man? Oh my God! Yes, you're from Texas. Where are you from? Oh, from Arizona. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> what is in Arizona, man? Eh? What is that? You got desert? Yeah. Oh, the desert. <laughs> Typical American climate. The desert. We love the desert. And we fucking frack. And we frack. We frack the desert. And we find the gold. The black gold. We fuck up the environment. And we love it. It's our environment. And you like to fuck it up. Nice, and uh, you are now convicted and you uh, went to college. Uh, that's how it went, eh? What's your name, brother? Michael. Michael, Michael how sad it is to be in Poland and watch stand-up comedy from, in English from an Italian. <laughs> how bad is it? How, have your how has your country become this? How is what has happened to America? What has happened to the United States that it has become Poland? How did that happen? My friend Michael, how long have you been living here? Three years. Three years? Oh, that's fresh. Where did they kick you out from previously? <laughs> Qatar. <laughs> I wasn't wrong after all. Nice one, Michael. <laughs> nice. Nice one, Michael. And you're retired, or are you doing something like uh, crypto now? What do you do? Finance. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you all look exactly the same? You're not people, you're replicants. I mean, what are you? God damn it. I mean, what are you gonna do right before you die, you know? Like, just keep on pumping that money, you know? <laughs> keep on pumping that money. 